Hello, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Dillings video. We will be continuing with the Ray Dill Madness. And yeah, I'm trying to get myself out of my current situation, which is... I am very lost. I don't know what to do with myself. No, you are lying to me. You are definitely lying to me. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. I don't really have any, I don't have many options, let's just be honest, like, I am in a very specific situation. I am in a very, very specific situation. My set of circumstances is so specific and so ridiculous that most people probably would never believe them. It's just, it's like, dude. I know that my circumstances seem ridiculous and all that, but they are legitimately what, what I'm dealing with. They are not a joke. I'm not kidding. That, what I am dealing with right now is legitimate. And what I'm dealing with right now is, well, I'm currently stuck with my writing, but I'm also stuck with it when it comes to life in general. I'm stuck when it comes to how I'm going to survive in the future. I'm stuck in general based on what I know about myself. It's a very terrifying situation to be in because a lot of people my age, either they have jobs now, maybe they even have families or they're married. Maybe they, e maybe they even have medication but still a job. But I, I don't have a job, and I'm not sure if I can ever fix that. Which is part of what I'm trying to... Tr I'm trying to find some, some way out of this. Because I don't think I'll be able to survive unless I try to do something. But the only thing I could think of to do was start a YouTube channel. And I didn't know what to do with the YouTube channel, so... I went back to the first thing I could think of, which was this game. And now I'm making it a lot, but the reason that I'm doing it so much is because I know that I'm reliable, I'm pretty much, I'm making a lot of content for this game. But I think that it benefits me to actually upload videos on YouTube, and it also benefits me to Honestly, just do something that isn't writing too much, that isn't writing. And I never really know what will happen anyway. It's possible that in the future, something will change. But right now, things just don't look that great. And I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to get myself out of my situation. I'm trying to give myself the hope that a prayer lacks, but honestly, it's, I kind of relate to that feeling of just not having much hope in general. However, I will absolutely continue to rest his ass. I do not care if there's any part of him I can relate to. <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying to change my future. Not by destroying things, but by creating things instead. Yeah, that's right. I am trying to change my future in a way that doesn't hurt people. Aporia, uh, can you say the same thing? Oh, you can't, can you? <sighs> well, too bad for you. Too bad for you. I will show you what happens when you mess with me. After all, I'm very, very stubborn. I'm sure you will come to learn this in the coming days. It will be terrifying, I'm sure. But, you know, I I just love to do it, you know? And you are not going to take that away from me. You are not going to take that away from anyone. I'm going to save the future in two places. Um, actually, that doesn't make any sense. Well, we're going to ignore my nonsense and just pay attention to what I am doing, which is kicking this guy's ass over and over. <laughs> this is going to be great. I will see what happens. Okay. I didn't really get many attacks. 
Well, I may not have many extra attacks, but I'll do what I can. Alright, I see. You know, I may not even need them. <laughs> Well, he did just lose, so, yeah. I defeated you. What now? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I can change my future. I'm more worried about the quality of my future than, the, than having no future at all. And I'm still trying to fix... I'm trying to get out of this situation. And obviously, I think you two might be beneficial in that regard. Now, it may not be the only thing I should be doing, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. At least that's what I think in my head. I really don't know how much it's going to help me in the long term, but I know that I am continuing to be committed to this, which is definitely a good sign. It says that maybe my channel has some longevity to it, and if it lasts long enough, then people will notice. And obviously, I wouldn't mind if people watched my content. Though it is currently uh, very fandom specific. Like, I'm definitely mainly making Yu Gi Oh! content. And I know I keep saying that my channel isn't going to be just Yu Gi Oh! content in the future, but right now I think it's pretty safe to say that this is probably a this is probably the content that's going to be here for a while. I'm not sure when I'm going to change things up and stop just playing this game. But there is plenty that I can do just by playing this game. I mean, I think that playing this game has an, has an interesting effect on me. Although I'm surprised that I seem to be better at dueling now compared to Vanguard. Because I I keep playing Vanguard and I keep losing, but I can win rank duels easier than I could than I can. I'm, that's just sur that's surprising to me. I'm like, what the hell? What is this observation? This is this sounds like bullshit. It's not bullshit. It is the absolute truth. Although it it is very strange to hear me say it. I mean, let's just be honest. I, I used to be better at playing Vanguard. But I do, I do know more about dueling to some extent because I learned how to duel first. Okay. Yeah, and I came into this game already knowing how to duel, at least um, up to Pendulum Summoning. Which was okay, because the game taught me how to Pendulum Summon anyway. Although the game also teach you, teaches you how to Fusion Summon and Synchro Summon. And they will, and it will soon teach you how to Link Summon. I think it also teaches you how to Ritual Summon. Anyway, this game does teach you some things, but... Obviously, I'm not the best at playing this game. And I still think there is a bit of a learning curve. Like, a lot of players just know how to play the game better than I do. However, even when it comes to those players, I'm still getting some wins. Which is definitely good for me. And, uh, I like that. I like that I can win. Okay, you want- wait, did he just say I'm nothing by an illusion? How dare you, how dare you. Just because I'm in a different universe doesn't mean that I'm an illusion. Come on, I am no illusion, dude. I am no illusion. I mean, you basically responded to what I was saying to you. So you really shouldn't say shit like that. It, it's really not good for your health. <laughs> oh my god. I really do not think he, ha he did hear me. It's just something I think is so hilarious to joke about. Though I keep joking about it. And now I I have communicated with spirits from this franchise. I actually said spirit at one point, but uh it has become more than that. 
I'm just not going to tell you which ones. Okay, um... I realize how I sound when I say things like that. But, I mean, let's just be honest here. I have never portrayed myself as a normal person. Ever. I am a spiritual person. I do not believe that the universe is so black and white. I don't believe that reality is... is I don't believe reality is as boxed in as we may think. Now, obviously there are facts, and there is much that is real and isn't real. But let's just be honest. Let's be honest, okay? While there is much to reality that is in, that is in stone we know is real and true, there is still much about reality that we as a species do not know. We do not know everything. I mean, that's why science is still a thing. I mean, you need science because there's always more to learn. So, if we're going to start arguing about what exists and what doesn't, well, we do need to consider, we do need to consider the experiences of others. And we also need to account for our own biases which science which science is well to be to put it bluntly the sci scientific fields don't actually uh they don't cover their biases they are just as vul vulnerable to confirmation bias as anyone else so i may sound insane by saying that i can communicate with spirits from this franchise but I, I will tell you, it's not as insane as you think. Now, I know you guys are probably going to disagree with me, but I mean, it's just what it is, okay? Uh, it, it's just how it is. I know it sounds weird. It was weird to me when I first started to experience it, but the situation is what it is. I'm not going to argue that... I'm not going to argue that it doesn't sound a bit weird, but... It's definitely still a reality for me. And I do think that it benefits me greatly to uh, interact with spirits. And not just be confined to my room in complete and total silence. And isolation. Seriously. Isolation can destroy you from the inside out. It, it nearly destroyed me, let's just be honest here. Like, I had my head up my- like, I- I was just- I was so damaged that I started thinking that my favorite characters would probably hate me if they met me. And I- I got my ass kicked for that. And I'm like, okay, okay, that's- well, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I do get it, but also, as much of an ass kicking as I did get for that, I don't think I should be insane. I don't think I should be classified as insane just because of what I'm saying. I, I mean, there are definitely reasons to consider me insane, but uh, being communicating with spirits from some form of fiction really shouldn't be one of them. Because as much as much as I am, hold on a second. Uh. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Um, where was I? I was something- I was somewhere in the domain of not wanting- I was some- I was talking about not being insane, and- Okay, yeah, there are reasons cons to consider me insane, but- Yeah, talking to spirits, not one of them. I do think that, uh, it's very difficult to explain how this kind of phenomenon is Possible, but I believe in an infinite multiverse and I do realize this can be very difficult to understand because not everyone out there does believe in that and that's valid you can believe whatever you want however I believe whatever I want as well and I know what I've experienced um hold on a second I thought that was what the hell I cannot s- hold on a second, hold on. I messed up. 
Well, anyway, I do- hold on. Um, that's a tuner. It says it's a tuner. Oh, hold on. Cannot be used as a synchro material, except for the synchro summon of a monster that has- that was synchro- Oh. Uh, I see. Well then. I see my mistake. I see. Apparently, I still make mistakes like not reading cards before I use them. Okay, well, I end my turn. And now, if you ask me, I... I know that not every... No, I know that a lot of people are probably going to be like, what the hell is this person on? And yes, I, I know that it sounds insane, okay? I, I'm not going to stop saying this. But what I experience is has been very beneficial for me in general. Like, I am not trying to say that what I am experiencing is is something you have to believe, but it's definitely something that is not just something that I experience. There are many others that experience similar things as I do. And I do hope to one day bring some of that kind of content to this channel. It's just not right now. Not right now. Maybe in the future. And I mean, it is planned to be I am planning this in the future but not not uh, not sure how far in the future to be honest I'm just trying to uh, I'm trying to find acceptance I'm trying to find people that will not judge me from my experiences and honestly it is very important that I'm upfront about some of those experiences or no one will be able to not judge me because I'll just be silent and too withdrawn for people to actually accept me fully. And how to give people a chance, man. Though right now, uh, I'm too busy playing a card game for that. And I'm not really sure how people are going to be given that chance in this car right now. <laughs> Because, again, my channel is still under the radar. And I think my channel should be at least somewhat bigger before I try to consider tackling some of this stuff. However, I do want to be completely um, upfront. What I experience can be very difficult subject. It can be a very difficult subject because not everyone believes the same thing the same things that I do and some people are complete assholes which is why I want to tackle the topic myself because I think there is some misinformation out there that needs to be addressed and the biggest misinformation that needs to be addressed is dude no you do not need trauma to be plural. No, you don't. Yeah, that's definitely something that a lot of people will disagree with me on. And I, uh, I know that it's painful to acknowledge, but I mean, it's just, there are a very limited amount of people out there that can understand the concept of plurality. And I think that a lot of people are, are spreading misinformation about it based on their own pain and suffering, which isn't good. It doesn't help anyone. And if no one has any idea what plurality is, someone's first introduction to it may not be positive. And, and that's not good because there are people out there that really do benefit from being plural. Their mental health improves significantly. And you don't need trauma for this. You don't need trauma. 
Uh, by the way, I have a personal grudge against anyone that says you need to have you need to experience trauma to be Pearl. Because yes, I know that people can go through a lot of bullshit. I know I get it. Being Pearl does come with some trauma every sometimes, but I've experienced trauma myself. But thanks for saying thanks for telling me I'm not traumatic I'm not traumatized enough. So I'm not traumatized enough to be valid to you. Well fine. I, I don't care. Now again the grudge is mainly about misinformation. It's not really about my feelings anymore. It's just I don't want anyone to think badly of people like myself that are plural but don't have trauma associated with that plurality. Although, again, this is definitely a complicated subject, it's not one that I feel I should tackle right this second, which is obviously the reason why I should not do that. And yeah, I have just found it very obnoxious how some people argue this and that, and I'm just over here like, you are, you are bad-mouthing people who are not even... So you are bad-mouthing people for an experience that helps improve their mental health. Like, just because your plurality hurts you, doesn't mean that plurality is always harmful. I know it's, I mean, it's a sensitive topic for a good reason, but it's just very difficult to come up with a way to say, to say this stuff without the uh without all the negative without all the negative vibes involved like there's so much to unpack when it comes to plurality that it's really difficult to talk about with people that don't know that don't know what it is but i've heard about people talking about this stuff and i'm like i know that i do get passionate and heated when it comes to a topic like plurality but the thing is, I still need to come up with the guts to uh, actually post that on the internet where people on a public platform can, uh, can be exposed to it. Yes. I mean, obviously, it's, they're being, you're being exposed to this through this video, but I mean, I have to come up with a way to present my information in a way that isn't quite as heated as what I've been, as how I've been lately. I had to become somewhat detached from the situation in order to uh, have any credibility at all. Uh, so in the future, I'm hoping to talk about priority in a way that isn't that isn't as one-sided and and is less emotionally charged. But for now, that will wrap it up for this video. I will see you guys in my next one.